Hey guys, welcome to eabuyandsell.com and we're so glad that you're here with us uh, this evening. I'm going to share a couple tips with you I think you should um, be aware of because one of the things that's happening in uh, buying and selling is that we're getting caught up in drop shipping and we're getting caught up in different things that aren't working. Uh, if you're like me, you've been trying to buy and sell for a long time and so many methods fail and so many methods succeed. And so we've got to figure out which methods uh, work and which methods don't work. And one of the things that I want to share with you tonight is something that uh, is a very valuable tip that I've learned. And the, the bad news is uh, it costs a little bit of money, not a lot. But costs a little bit of money, um, maybe fifty bucks, hundred bucks here and there. But it's it's you know it's well worth it. And some of you have heard of this tip, some of you have not. But I want to share with you tonight uh, a tip that will help your buying and selling skyrocket to the next level. And uh, it's a website that I use, and that I'm sure many of you have heard of. Maybe you've never used it, or maybe you're not sure how to use it, but the website's called Upwork. And Upwork is a website that uh, I go to and I've gone to in the past and um, I still go to now. And what I've done and what I still do uh, occasionally is I will post a job. And uh, this is a, a very good trick here. So, you know, bear with me here for a minute, but this will help your buying and selling extremely. What I'll do is I'll post a job and the job post will read something like this. I'm looking for someone that can help me to find 50 products that have a good profit margin from the U.S. to the U.S. And I want to buy and sell. I want to sell it on eBay, but I want to source it from another place in the U.S. So give me 50 products that I can buy and sell that have a profit margin by selling on eBay and Amazon and then source it from another U.S. wholesaler. And what I'll always do is I'll ask for samples. So I'll say, please give me a sample product first before I hire you. Now, there's, there's some samples that are horrible. And there's some samples that are good. But um, once you find the sample that you like, there's two things that you can do. Number one, you can just go around, go around fishing for free samples. That may not be the best thing. It's kind of, it's kind of like going to the uh, ice cream guy and asking for samples of each flavor and then not ordering any. So that may not be um, a good a good thing to do. Um, or uh, what you can do is based on the sample that you get, if you like the sample, then you can go ahead and hire that person in a contract. And normally what I've found by experience is that 50 products, I pay about 50 to 100 bucks max. I wouldn't pay more than that. Um, and those 50 or 100 products are going to help me to be able to, you know, find products that are buying and selling. So I hope you use that and I hope you'll take that to heart. And um, make sure and subscribe, click the like button. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you and have a good day.